Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're once again here in Craftomation 101. Uh, things are at pause at the moment because I'm never quite sure how quickly the game will descend into madness and I will lose control. I've, I've made a couple of changes because I'm constantly fighting against resources running out and fires run, in particular the fires, the bonfires running out and the cold re-emerging and taking or reclaiming parts of the land that I had warmed up and taken back under my control. So what I've done is I have moved some of my more sort of distant storage areas, the steel, the magnets and the rest of these, these here, which were sat over here for a while. If you can rem remember from the last episode, they were over here because I'm having trouble still keeping all my fires alight. And I have in fact rejigged again my bonfire lighting routine. Uh, so if we go here, this is a bonfire lighter and what they're doing here if we go to the bonfire function, is they're going to a bonfire, this one up here for example, if it's got less than four flames in it, then they drop a flame into it. So they've got a fire, they've got a flame in their hand, so they come here, if it's got less than four flame in it, it they will drop that flame, they'll go and find another one, and then go to the next bonfire in their designated area, and again, if it's got less than four, drop the flame, if not, they will go and find another one. Ooh, oh, hang on. Why is this left out? Where's that one? Oh, that's that one down there. Oh, is that the one I'm ignoring now? Quite possibly. Yeah, because I had made my mind up to start ignoring some of the fires. In fact, what I want to do, I want to keep that one alight, actually. So, and we'll drop this one which will help protect my supply of flames. I do now have two craftomates actually creating flame and storing it, but even that's not enough because there's too many bonfires going on, I think. So we're going to ignore this one. We're going to keep that one open, I think. There's nothing much up here that I need. And we can't get through this. This is obviously solid ice, which we can't break through by the look of it. I mean, we've got this stone open, but this is still extremely cold. Possibly because, as the game is hinting in this new quest we've got here, there's ancient ice, which might be even colder than modern ice, possibly. Uh, so I'm going to leave that one to burn out. And we'll actually keep this one going, because there is stuff down here. There's more iron, which we've got anyway. But also, we've got some ale some logs, some more paint. We'll, we'll leave that one burning, perhaps. So yeah, let's let's reassign uh, that function. Uh, so bonfire. Now, they appear, we've got a new update. We've had a couple of updates, I think, since I last recorded an episode. And one thing that appears to have been lost is the ability to control click to select multiple code elements. Yeah, which is ex extremely annoying. Now, there is an alternative, which is to right mouse button drag. Uh, mm -mm. But that I'm finding extremely unreliable. Uh, so if I drag over that, that highlights them. So I can now actually delete or copy or paste those selected I elements. But it's, it's nowhere near as good as the control click that we used to have. So I want that back please devs if you could, if you'd be awfully kind. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to actually remove these elements. Yeah, we'll delete those. Delete. Good. Then we'll come back and we'll do this one here. No, no that's good. I think, I think I'm alright. <laughs> I think this should work. Oh dear. Now that I've changed things, I'm going to start doubting myself. I think that works okay, so it's more than that. It goes to the next one. Yeah, which is that one there. Okay, that's good, I think. So what we'll do, we will take the flame out of there and put it in there. So that's lit up. That's okay, I think. We're also about to complete 
our command center quest, which is to put logs in here, which will give us a... Ooh, whatever that is. Now, by getting rid of these ancient ice tiles... Now... Ah, right. We've melted these ancient ice tiles. Ah, I'm just wondering. We, this is highlighted here, so I'm slightly confused, which, which to be honest, isn't uncommon. Uh, so we want to get rid of this stone. We want to put a furnace there because this is ancient ice. Which will then give us access to more stone. We've got more stone than we could possibly want or need. Uh, so we'll actually make some sparks out of this. That's good. Uh, which we can then turn into fire. To improve our store of flames okay so uh, okay we need lots of coal from here bring all this up and we'll make fire make fire and finally fire there Actually, I could leave the flame on the ground here, couldn't I? I don't need to put it in the store. Because they've got the find, the smart find option in their code now. To find it wherever they can, either on the ground or in storage. There you go. Let's put that in there. That'll keep us going for a while. And what I'm also concerned about here is batteries. We're needing batteries to... Whoops, leave that in there to keep this heater working which for some reason hasn't defrosted you ooey 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 <laughs> silly from here it is presumably quite warm you would have thought but obviously very very cold there so we're going to need perhaps a, another heater to do that not sure so what I'm thinking is is we could do with another crafto mate to ensure we've got enough batteries and batteries are made by putting magnetised steel plates, charged steel plates, with with ice, with water rather, which is interesting. I suppose that yeah, that there's physics to that. I think if I remember, oh, it's a long, long time ago since I last did any physics properly. Uh, so yeah, that, there's a kind of logic to that. I think so. We could do that, but we don't have anyone making steel anymore or steel plate or charged steel plate so I th what I'm thinking is I've got the elements here ready I did this off camera to create a new crafto mate to actually look after doing that specifically so if I put you guys together who we get equip the mad and we're gonna call you if I open this up we're gonna actually call you equip the battery maker and I'm going to attempt to make you make this from first principles so we need to create a steel plate from steel which is iron or and flame okay we'll do everything from first principles here I think so what you need to do oh, leave that there is you need to find and pick stone uh, there you go and then find and pick more stone and then you'll combine those which will give you the spark so you now need to find and pick some whoops some coal and combine that okay so you've now got in your hand flame which means you can now go and find some iron to make steel so that's what we'll do so we will then find and pick some iron there you go I'm not configuring where they pick this from because I don't think we should have any real problems with this at the moment we're not storing these resources so we'll do that so find and pick uh, and that combine that that will make us the steel uh, what I could do I suppose is turn this into a function I should have put this into a function to start with shouldn't I uh, yeah 
Okay, can I use that? Right drag. So you, you see, it's just. Mm. No, I haven't got that top combined there, have I? Okay, no, no. If I do it like that, okay. No, it's lost it now. Can I do it like that? Good, it's kept it. Okay, so if I copy that, put this into a new function, which we're going to edit, and we're going to call it. We do need, again, I'm going to say this, I say every episode, I'm sure, we do need a proper editable text box, because this is really annoying. I find it annoying anyway. Uh, so I'm going to paste that in there. So the input is going to go there. And at the end of it, we're going to output. And we're going to put that steel into uh, the storage. Yep. Yeah. So we will come back here and we're going to then... Actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to drop to storage. There you go, and output from there. So we've got the steel. I could actually, I do need to do this twice to make the steel plate. Okay, that's fine. So equip the battery maker here. So all this, no, right, right drag, that's it. Delete all that. No, it's not deleted anything. Ugh. Delete. Good. We're going to say we need a ooh, repeat in there. Okay. And we're going to repeat this twice. Yep. So the next then is... No. Steelmaker. Yep. And then go back to there. I think. Yep. And when that's done, from the steel maker, we then need a magnet. Magnets are made from iron and steel. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so let's do this three times. So once you've done that, we can then go to make a magnet. Do we need to do that as a separate function? I think we're okay, because that's a fairly straightforward thing, isn't it? So here, we are going to go to find and pick some more iron. We are then going to find and pick some steel. Combine those, and that gives us a magnet. And we've got a magnet now, so we can go and charge a oh no 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 we need a steel plate have we we haven't made the steel plate yet have we no ah so let's uh, get rid of both those all three it's really doesn't like me to, which is why i like the control click it works so much better. All right, delete that. I can press delete. Can I, can I press delete? No. I've got to drag it over there and over there and over there. Good. Okay, so we've made the steel. We've made plenty of steel. So we need to make that into a steel plate. Yep, and that makes our steel plate. And then we can drop that to storage. We now need to create a magnet. No, I think I'm okay. Okay, what we're gonna do though, is having done that, I think we ought to check that they're running, they haven't run out of energy. So we'll do a check and eat there. So all this malarkey here. Which again, it's, come on, high. 
apply like this. I don't know what it's hitting, but it just seems to lose the... Nope, still haven't got it. Delete. Okay. So, when we end that, we go into the Magnet Maker. Oh, actually, yeah. You can, do, you can check and eat there, can't you? Uh, and check and eat. Go to the Magnet Maker. And once you've made the magnet, what do we want after the magnet? We want the charge steel plate. Will we do this in the main function? Okay, uh, so that is oops, find and pick the steel plate, which is there. Find and pick a magnet. Combine those. Where are you? There you are. Which should create the charge steel plate. Yeah. And we can take that, find some water, and we've got a battery. Find and pick some water. Combine those. And then drop that to storage. is good and then we can do another check to eat and finally go to idle phew I think that might work he said hopefully we'll find out when we set this one to work That. That's him. Equip the battery maker. There he goes. I think. Yeah. Following him here. Put that in there. Good. Now he's going over here. Find some iron. Making steel. Good. Put that in the steel box. He's going to... Oh. <laughs> he's run out of energy already. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. Let's uh, have a look at you then. I can edit that from there, can't I? Yeah, put, put a, a, a neat check in here, I think. Uh, oh, that is a function. Check and eat. There you go. Uh, after that. And before coming out of there. Uh, okay. And I will make some food for you normally, or manually rather, rather than taking it from our storage. There you are. Gonna carry on. There you go. We've got fire now. Oh yes, you're making more steel, aren't you? That's right. You're doing you're doing the steel twice. Oh, and you're hungry already. This is hard, clearly hard work. Oh hang on. Hang on. Oh, we don't have a nearby box for the steel plate. Ah, okay. We probably want to do that. Well, you're not that far away, but you're going to run out of energy again, aren't you? By the look of it. Yeah, he's done it. <laughs> wow. He's using a lot of energy. I don't think they've changed the energy depletion parameters in, in in any of the updates recently. 
Oh, okay. So having made that... Ah, so this is the magnet maker. Yeah, we're going to need uh, an eat in here as well, aren't we? Yeah, I don't think we did this in the last episode. I can't honestly remember. So it's been a little while since I last played this properly. Uh, but you can actually put functions within functions, which is nice. Which is a really handy thing to be able to do. So we'll put you in there. So you're going to... No, from the connecting point there. And then you can go to there. And do we want another one here? We're going to have these everywhere, aren't we? <laughs> Basically. So, whatever you're doing, you're always going to be checking if you're hungry or not. Yeah, there's no check and eat here, is there? Not till then. We'll see how that works out as well. Right, so we're going to have to feed you again. So another of these little coal bricks. Another, where's the stone gone? There's some stone. And, no, not in the bonfire one, in you. There we go. So where is he going? Right, so you've got that, or iron. Oh, we've got the, uh, we've completed that quest. Excellent. Which gives us a furnace. Ah, oh, which we can put now up here to get through that that ice presumably oh we now need to plant we've already planted something haven't we plant a tree yeah now we're going to need logs to feed these furnaces and i'm not sure one tree is going to be enough for that so i think we're going to need two trees to do that. Am I going to need another robot? <laughs> a, a, a crafter, mate, to do that. We've got two logs in storage. This tree... Okay, we've taken one log from there so far. So we've got four left. But I think these five... I'm not sure what their rate of depletion is going to be to, uh, to, to keep them fed. Okay, so who do we have? Who's looking after... Oh, you're looking after the batteries for the furnace. Who's... You're a bricky. Okay, who is looking after... Yeah, who is looking at... Ah, is it the de-icer? Yes, you were dropping them there. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do then is put that in... Okay, we'll drop you to there. So we'll use that specific storage box rather than generic so I know where it is. And it's reasonably close to the furnaces. Okay, let me look at that. What I'm going to do, uh, we'll possibly do this as a kind of speed build thing or I might just cut it out and show you the, the finished uh, function. Because we've seen me making functions before. It's just a matter of getting the, these code elements in the right place and making sure the, the crafto mates actually keep themselves fed enough to complete the tasks when they go through. So we'll do that, and I'll come back to you, and we'll see where this heater takes us. And that will then open up this area up here, which includes a sulphur spring, oh, and a new crafto mate, uh, and also some more seeds, and some moss, and more water. Oh, and some more batteries, that's good. Okay, I'll be back with you, uh, either at the end of the speed build section, or, and I do a quick cut, I'll decide all this in the edit. You, you won't, you, well, you'll see what happens in a moment. So I've made a number of changes which will hopefully keep the map working and keep all my crafto mates operating, well, well operating basically. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure how efficient they are, how productive, all the rest of it. But it should work. Uh, so I just want to go through a couple of the changes I've made uh, since before that little sexy video effect. Uh, our battery man here, who I actually gave an awful lot to do at the beginning of this episode. So here he is. Quip the battery maker. As you can see, he's making three sets of steel. Steel plates. He's making magnets from those steel plates. 
he is then also making uh, batteries from those so that our battery maker, sorry, our battery R of the heater, I think it is, can keep those batteries uh, feeding into the heater up here to keep that area warm. What I was finding was it's almost impossible, possibly because I've given them so much to do, to keep this poor craft o mate actually functional. They would often just drop, drop and stop dead. Now what I've done, which seems to work reasonably well, is I've actually reduced their speed. So this slider we've got down at the bottom here, they're running at 75% of their normal speed, but they're actually using 55% of their energy to do that. So the saving in energy is quite considerable, 45%, but they're only losing 25% of their speed. So I think that should work. And it seems to be okay. I've watched them for a little while now, and they haven't stopped dead for quite some time. This area up here, we have uh, put in our furnace, which we got from filling the command center with logs. 25 logs it took to build this. And I've got that running at the moment. And that's opened up this area here. Now as that cools down, this will all close off again. But we want to go up here. So we're going to need to keep this, this aflame, keep this warm. Uh, one thing I've done in terms of helping that is I've actually reduced again our bonfire count. This bonfire here, I've decided not to feed anymore because we were getting close to running out of flame. As you can see here, my flame storage is now at one. Yeah, so quite often the crafter mates will actually have to wait for a moment. It isn't very long, to be honest, but they will have to wait a little bit for that flame to be, to, for that storage to be filled back up again. I think I've actually got two crafto mates who are feeding that, who are creating fire and that's all they do. So they're having a job keeping up with that. I, I, we need to make sure we've got enough flame. So cutting out one of the bonfires we don't need will help with that. And I've also planted a second tree and we've got a new robot here who I've called Arvo the Furnacer. And this is the thing I was working on doing. And what they do is they actually feed both these furnaces we've got here. Uh, that at the top and this one down here. So they find a log, either from the storage or from the source. So if there is a tree with, with logs ready, a ripe tree, they will go and harvest that. And then check each of these furnaces to see if they've got two, if they've got less than two logs in them at the moment. If they have, they will put the log in there, and if not, they will then put that, they'll go and check the next furnace and compare that. And that seems to work reasonably well. And I've got, uh, in fact, this light blue fellow here, Pick the Deicer, actually doing more than that. He's actually doing a job of foresting now. I've created a new function called Forester, and that goes around and checks each of these trees uh, are they starving do they need water in which case it'll it'll drop water on them and that will make them growing if they are growing it goes to the next tree and checks do you need water if not then it drops the log it drops the water it's carrying back into storage uh, and then goes and picks a log if they're ripe and drops that into storage if they're still growing it just goes, yeah, so if they're still growing, it goes to the next one in turn and sees, again, do you need water? If not, if it's ripe, it'll pick a log and drop that into storage. So our furnace chappy here can keep the furnaces running. Now what I'm thinking is, my pressing need, my most pressing need at the moment is flame. So we are running short of that. So I notice we've got a crafter mate here hidden in the ice so I'm going to use just temporarily manually I'm going to open this space up by moving this bonfire here up here and with any luck yeah that should stretch too yes that should warm the ice enough to release that that crafter mate who I can then bring in and add them to my uh, fire makers to keep our flame storage a light as it were 
Uh, we have got, yeah, you've got four in there, so let's put you in there. Open that up. Excellent. So I can now drag you down here. Bob the Bad. And uh, we're going to actually, have I got a fire maker? You're a fire starter. Ah, fi right, the fire starters are the ones that keep the bonfires going. So we're going to take a fire maker, like you. We're going to copy your program. There you are, and put you on Bob the Bad. So Bob the Bad now makes fire. Excellent. So we can change your name. There you go, Bob the Fire Maker. That's correct. Oh, we need to tell you to run that program. There you go. And what we'll do is we'll then move uh, any of these running out of fire. Yeah, so if we take the flame, can I take the flame out of there? No, I can't. Okay, wait for you to burn down. Then I'll quickly try and move that bonfire over here to release this storage box full of batteries. There you go. So move you over. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you're fine there. Okay, if I put you there, can we move... Who's got lots of flame? You've got lots of flame. So if I put you in there. X oh, the trouble is that's Tet. Okay. Now, oh, I put it on the ice there. I'm sure it shouldn't do that. I understand there is a more powerful crafto mate called a cargo mate who is able to carry more and I think I may be entirely wrong here. So if you've played the game further than I have, then no. Does the crafto mate allow it? Is the crafto is the cargo mate capable of picking up full storage boxes or taking multiple items all in one go? Because that would be handy. If I put you, uh, I'll just put you up here for the moment. Yeah, there you go. And we can we've got where's our battery storage down there. Uh, actually, what I might do is empty this out and move you up a little bit to there. Because what I've discovered in watching this, particularly my battery maker crafter mate, is they do need space to walk, and I'll. I'll show you what I mean in a moment once I've got all these batteries in place. There you go, that's our batteries down there. Yeah, what was happening was I had my glass storage, which is now over here. I had that there. And what that meant was that my battery maker, when he was working on the magnets and the steel, the charged steel plates and the ordinary steel plates, he, if they were here, they couldn't get past that, so they had to go a sort of long way round to get anywhere, uh, particularly to the battery storage up here. So by creating this space here, hopefully they should be able to move around quickly and require less energy, obviously, to do that. I'm just thinking this steel plate up there, actually this charged steel plate one is unfriendly in that position. I'm not sure if they can, can they get through that gap? I'm not sure if they can. Oh, don't do that. Uh, ha how's this fire doing? Ooh, I can get these seeds out actually while I'm here. No, don't plant them. Put them in. Where's our seed store? We've got a seed store down here. There you go. And there. Also, we've got more spores. We've got copper. Oh, I don't know what use that's going to be to anybody, but we'll take it now that we can. We've got water up there as well. We're, we're okay for water, I think. We'll bring these down. Okay, I'll put them in a storage box in a minute. Uh, what was I? Oh, we were going to move the steel plates, weren't we? The charged steel plates. Uh, yeah, I'll get you out. Get you out. And if I put you, say, there. That would be fine. 
Yeah, because he's going to he's going to need a ordinary steel plate and a magnet to charge it up to make it charged. Which I think that that works better. There's more room for them to move to maneuver. Uh, we'll put this copper in storage. There we go. We've got this sulphur spring. I don't know what uh, that creates. This particular type of ground and. I wonder, is that the ground these spores live on? Where's my spores? There they are. Actually, if I go here, spores only grows on... Ooh! Now, we can make new small, new spores from mushrooms and logs, and they only grow on that sulphurated land. I'd also like to be able to build new furnaces. Uh, now that I've got a... Fo well, I've got two trees. Call it a forest? Yeah, let's call it a forest. But there is this item here, which I don't know how to make yet, so I can't make the furnace. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, plus a bonfire. So it's a bonfire plus something else. So what have we got up here? Uh, okay, let's we'll leave those spores up there. And I don't think our furnace here is going to be able to... Oh, that's still burning. I need that to burn out. I don't think that furnace is going to stretch up there enough, is it? like to be able to break this ice down but for some reason the furnace isn't hot enough unbelievably to do that there's our furnace sir. making sure that our furnaces are lit there's our fire gone that's good so now that's ah okay we've unlocked the sulfur spring and it still seems to be warm enough oh that's awesome actually to keep this area working. So, what do these spores do then? So if I put a spore in there, that needs water. Okay, what are you waiting for? Oh, where did you come from? Ooh, ooh the silly. I don't know. <laughs> what the? Oh, were you? Oh, you were here, weren't you? Yes, you were the one that was there. Ah, okay, so unlocking the sulphur spring has released you from that, that area there. Oh, excellent. Okay, so, ooh, the silly. Right, you can be, you can look after my plants then. So we've got the de-icer fellow here. What are you doing? Okay, you're, I do, you're just doing the, forests aren't you yeah you're looking after that yeah let's give Uwe the silly we'll call you the gardener that's what we will do I think that's how you spell gardener it is now and what we'll do is we will change the forester function and is there a way of copying this program I can copy it to a crafto mate, but that's not. Okay, where is that? You there, isn't it, the gardener? Can I copy that to you? No, I didn't think I could really. Okay, we've also got moss here as well. Could do with unlocking that. I wonder. Okay, let's try that. I put you there. Want some fire? You've got three, you've got four. Take a flame out of there. Drop you in there. Oh, and we've got another spare craft -o mate. Okay, so this is moss. And we'll put you there. Where does moss come from? Oh. You just come from... I don't know where you come from then. Oh, do I need to click... If I click that... No, it still doesn't tell me if it originates from anywhere. Right, but you both need water. So, what we're going to do then, we're going to have to take... Uh, Ooh, the gardener. There you are. We've got the forester code here. 
again, at the moment, in this current build of the game, there is a real issue, which I mentioned earlier, about copying multiple code elements. We used to be able to sort of click on something, then control click and select multiple items, which we could then copy or delete or whatever we wanted to do with them. That doesn't work at the moment. I think that we've reported this and discussed it on the Discord server, actually, <laughs> just before I restarted this uh, recording and uh, it looks like they're looking at it and hopefully we'll get a fix out soon but if we can do this it hasn't it hasn't left them with the highlight on I wanted to leave them with the highlight on if I say copy that and go into a new function is this one here. Can I paste that? They say it hasn't copied it. This is deeply frustrating. <laughs> okay, so go in here. I want to copy. Let's see, it drops it. Ah, it's got those. That's that's a good start. Okay, we'll copy that. So in this function, which is ah, these text edit boxes. Okay, so if I paste that in there, oh, it's done it. Good, good. Uh, where's my output gone? There you are. Leave you there. Okay, so what we do? Uh, no. Okay, so we're checking the plant. So we're going to assume we've picked up some water to start with. And we're going to be checking the plant there. If it's starving, it needs water. We're going to drop the water on it and then find some more water for our next plant, which will be that one. If uh, that plant is ripe, we're going to drop the water to storage. And can we pick up the moss? There's nothing to pick up there by the look of it. I don't know what it... I don't know what it... <laughs> no idea what it creates. Okay. Hmm. Right, and then we're going to have to drop that to a storage box somewhere. Have we got a storage box anywhere? We've got this one up here which we could use. I thought we had another empty one somewhere. I had, we've got you. Yeah, I think I just placed you for want of somewhere to place a box. Uh, oh, well, we could place you here, I suppose. As good a place as any. Okay, so here we are gonna be dropping that to there. Okay, that specific box rather than just general storage. And then we're going to find some water, check this other plant and then do the same thing to it. So if it is starving, we're going to drop the water on that. Yep. Uh, if it's growing, we can drop the water back to storage. I think, yep. And if it's ripe, we're going to need a find and hit a pick. Yeah. Actually, if I just do a pick from, not from there. So I don't know what it's picking up at the moment. Yeah, so this find and pick will make that a pick from, in fact. For the moment, because I don't know what it's picking up. Not from there, no. So this is picking up from, that's it and then drop that to 
that box there. Okay, so we'll pick from there. We'll just make a drop too, I think, to keep an eye on it. And we'll drop that there, for sake of argument. Okay, I think we're done. No, out, there you go. The only other issue with this crafter mate here is it's got a very long walk to get energy. Very long walk indeed. So we may need another supply of those coal bricks. We'll, we'll work that out. Okay, so that's the gardener function. So what you're doing, Ui, 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 the gardener, is you are going to find some water, find and pick some water. You're then going to do the gardener function, which is there. You're then going to do a check and eat, which is there. And then you're done, I think. Go to idle. Let's get you running. Let's see what you do. Oh, where, I've, I've lost him now. Where is he? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> so you've got water. Well, that is a long way up there, isn't it? Actually, there's water up there. You might have... Yeah, well done. Well done. So it's going there. That's good. Oh, excellent. And there. That's fine. So he's going to drop that back in there. Pick it up. And he's going to be running out of energy. So stay still. Let me click on you. Well, he's got 20. I think it gets down to about 7 or something. Aha! What have we got here? You're ripe. You give me a new object called moss. Okay. And... Okay. No idea what I'm going to do with that. But we'll put that in there. Uh, so we can... Well, well, no, we'll leave that as is for now. Oh, you picked the other one. Good. You spotted that. Oh, and this is... Oh, you're, you're starving. You, you need to grow more. Well, it looks like you're fully grown there, doesn't it? Now, he's off in search of food. And we'll possibly run out of energy before he gets there. Oh, he's back. That's withering. Why? Aha, now that gives me a mushroom. Excellent. That's a mushroom. Ah, right. Oh, we can make ales. Right, so we have got three ales here. Primordial ale, which doesn't appear to do anything apart from... Oh, oh that might give us 100 energy. Ah, that gives us 25. Oh, these are good things to drink then. So spe speedy ale, which we get from mushrooms, gives us a turbo mode for 60 seconds and 50 uh, energy points. The wakey ale gives us eco mode and a boost. Right, I think our next, our spare crafto mate can be our brewer. No, we don't have a spare storage box, do we? No. We've got this one with sand in, which is all a bit pointless. Well, <laughs> I say that, I've no idea, to be honest. Ooh, we've got stuff going on up here. There's a brewery up there. We're going to need to move on up there then. What we're going to do, we're going to get... Can I get those spores out? Yeah, I don't need spores. And put this storage box down there. Actually, that should be... Put that there. And then the mushrooms can go in there. In there. So the gardener here... So the gardener function... So you're going to drop that to storage, I think. So we'll take that away and that away drop to storage okay and then this one here this again can be dropped to storage there you 
go. And we're done, I think. But let's... Uh... Oh, what, what's what's his problem? Why, why is he shaking? It's with, he says it's withering. Pick from. Needs needs withering. I don't know. C can you not put water in there? Okay, let's get these. I don't know what you're doing. I okay. We'll reset your program. If I put that back in there, get going. Then you will doubtless run out of energy before you get anything done. So you're ripe, so we will take some moss off you, put you in storage. Good. Find some more water. Good. Go around here to our mushroom. Feed you. Good. And he's run out of energy. Bother. Just get you fed for a second. Now where's he going? Oh, because he fa <laughs> because he'd already failed the eat check, so he's off in search of food at that point. When I fed him, yeah, could do with a more central supply of those coal bricks. I think. Okay, so we've got that. Good. So it says that withering. I don't understand. He doesn't know what to do. On error. Oh, pick from there. Oh, we need to drop the water as well, don't we? We need to drop to storage to go in here. Yeah, and then pick the mushroom plant. Right, he's got it. Good. Understand. Where's he going with that water? He's now got two. Bother. <laughs> no. Okay, we'll just reset you. Is that good? And you can carry on your merry way. I think we're all right. Okay, uh, let's create, shall we, some of this, this ale. So we've got you with some lots of water down here so we'll use that oh is that not what it needs what, what was it equals moss plus water it says that's what it says I don't know in that case okay what about a mushroom oh no ah Is that what the brewer is for? Do we have to combine these products as an industrial process? Oh, I say, right, got it, I think. Oh, I see a different color paint over there. I need to get over there. I want different color paints. So we'll move our bonfire over here, temporarily. That's not gonna be enough though, is it? Okay, we're going to leave it there. This has run on, run on for a little longer than I was expecting it to, to be honest. Uh, we still have a command. We have two quests still. The, the, the main sort of game quest to add logs to the brewery. Which possibly gets it working. And then we need to combine these organics with water to produce an ale. Uh, right, so yeah, we're going to leave that as is. So if you want to see more of this, if you want to see the continuation of this and possibly the discovery of the brewery all the way up there, then uh, please do like and comment on this video. It's always great to hear from you. If you feel like like it, if you've enjoyed today's episode, which I hope you have, then please do just give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you've got anything to say about what I'm doing with the game or the game itself, then please do drop a comment in the, well, just drop a note to the comments box below. I could say put a comment in the comments box, but that's a bit sort of 
obvious, really. That would be awesome. Whatever you've got to say, then it's always lovely to hear from you. And, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Craft Automation 101. Until the next time, bye-bye for now. Thank you.